Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe. This one's going to be doing another video for the comic books. This one we're going to talk about an interview that Robert Kirkman had recently with Screen Rant, where he talked about the one biggest mistake that he made making the comics. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another review today, this one's going to be doing another review for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video, this one for the Walking Dead comic book series, this one we're going to go over an article from Screen Rant where uh, Robert Kirkman himself talks about a huge mistake that he made when creating the comic books. So, always find this one interesting, especially when we get some word from, you know, a writer many, many years in the future that there are things that they would change from, you know, obviously what they did many years ago. Um, I always find it fascinating to go through and I thought it would make a fun video idea. So Robert Kirkman obviously recently has been making The Walking Dead Deluxe. He's been doing this since I believe 2020. The Walking Dead comic book deluxe, which is basically a re-release of the comic books in color format, right? And it's been happening now for about four years. I started reviewing the deluxe comics, the first few I bought. And then after a while, I was like, okay, it's just the comics with color. I'll just wait until the whole thing comes out and then maybe get in a compendium format or something. Although I heard wording that we're never going to get the comics in a compendium format in color. So I, we may never get that. So I don't know. I may have missed my chance, but um, I have all the comics though in their black and white format and I'm, I'm good with that. But uh, I do like the reprint. I do like the re-release. Um, and uh, I think they're somewhere around. Um, I think they're getting close to issue 100 now. I think they're, if anything, they're just heading into it now. Like I think they're in the, like the larger world uh, type storyline. Anybody that follows that, you can comment down below. Um, but the biggest thing that he said he regretted, and we'll read this one here. As I was saying last issue, Nicholas really could have delivered a stronger line to punch up that cliffhanger moment. Well, page one of this issue delivered just that. We kill Rick before he kills us. Boom. That would have made a good ending moment. This page one is delightful to me. I am at times embarrassed going over this series again to see how often the cliffhangers at the end of one issue deflated or subverted to page one of the following issue. Well, it's great to finally find an example where the moment is dubbed down in the following issue. Rainforced and heightened. Very cool. So it definitely sounds like in terms of, you know, uh, criticism that he can give himself. And he's given himself a lot of criticism. I've noticed like ever since the comics have ended, he's, you know, kind of come out and said a few things that he would change and he would do differently. I would say that in terms of his statement... A lot of the issues end in a way that it, it cliffhangers and then it, when you start the next single issue, it's like as if it gets resolved in the, the first like page or two and he doesn't like that. He wanted more cliffhangers that actually mattered rather than just a cliffhanger to be a cliffhanger and then it gets resolved in the, the, you know, the next page. Here's what I'd say about that. I understand his criticism about himself. I understand what he's saying. Although I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, to be honest, because keep in mind, you're doing a single issue every month and each one is like 20 some pages and you have to think of some kind of hook for the next issue, even if it's not anything major, you know what I'm saying? So I understand what he means by it. I think that definitely makes a lot of sense. Although I don't think it's a huge mistake. I don't think it's something that's like that bad because, you know, a lot of people always complain about the original TV Walking Dead, how, you know, Negan, who did Negan kill? You know, a lot of people don't like the cliffhanger where you don't know who Negan killed. Well, in the comic book series, I can't say they did that, to be honest. Uh, this is the issue right here. Um, and for anybody that doesn't know, in the comic books, it happens in issue 100. When Negan's introduced, he kills Glenn in the comic books, and that's how everything goes. And rather than in the show where they, they cliffhangered it to the next season, in the comic books, they gave it to you right away. They gave you the, the full death. It's really gruesome. It's really just out of this world, and it's, um, <laughs> it's pretty gory, not gonna lie to you. Now, one of the only times where I can say that this does not work when it comes to a cliffhanger in one issue leading to another issue is issue 191. Now in issue 191, obviously in the comic books, this one came out back in 2019. Um, this one had a lot of problems because they cliffhangered a death and I will just let you guys know, spoiler warning for the comics. It's many years old now, so I doubt you'd be wanting to read it at this point, but I'm still going to give a spoiler warning. In the comic book series, Rick Grimes' death is cliffhangered from issue 191 to issue 192, and he really dies. That's the thing. This is definitely one of those rare times I can say that a cliffhanger is not a good idea, and I don't, you know, I really think this is, it's the only time in the comic book series, and I would say it's the only example I could give where Kirkman has a point. Cliffhangering Rick Grimes' death which is really embarrassing, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you because it's it's really really bad. 
He gets shot by Sebastian Milton because Sebastian Milton's a freaking doofus in the comics, just like in the TV show. And Rick right here gets shot, right? And it's a big cliffhanger. You see him get shot right there in his own bed. And when you flip the page, and it's really embarrassing if I can just get this here. And there he is there. And it literally just ends with him shot, bleeding out, and you don't know what happens. And you know what else, too? This isn't just some kind of fake out cliffhanger. No, no, no. Rick dies in the next issue. Rick dies in the very next issue. And they cliffhanger the lead's death in this. Horrible writing decision. Horrible. That's one of the only times I can say a cliffhanger for like uh, a single issue or some kind of thing like that is not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much every other time I can understand from a writing perspective why he would cliffhanger something, you know, in a way, even if it's a small, cheap little cliffhanger and then it does get resolved in the next page. I don't look at that as a big deal. I mean, you only have 20 pages per issue, so I understand that completely. This is one of the only times I could say, yeah, no, this is offensively bad. But aside from that, I, I understand it. I really do. And I think it's a creative idea to get people hooked into the next single issue. I don't look at it as, as a big problem. I don't look at it as a regret that he should have aside from this one. If he wants to have a regret about a cliffhanger, this is it right here. I'm, I'm speaking as a fan. This is it right here. So let me know your thoughts. Are there any cliffhangers of the comic books that you would say are a huge issue, one that you really don't enjoy a cliffhanger for to wait for the next single issue or even the next volume or anything like that? A cliffhanger that you don't like from the comics. This is one that I can say I don't like, but I want to hear from you. So let me know your thoughts. Post comments down below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click to subscribe and you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead of you. Nice come, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. And peace out.